What's going on guys? It's Bert and I'm doing a video today on driving etiquette. More specifically, a specific piece of driving etiquette that I see all the time and I'm sick of it. And I'm sure a lot of other, other of you guys are sick of it, other people. And that is crossing the double yellows when you're going through a bunch of turns. It is the worst habit and I see it all the time, whether it's online or in person. It's just such an unsafe thing, and as a driving enthusiast, I don't understand why people do it. So if you're one of those people that do it, please tell me why you do it. So let me give some examples. So right here, this area is a bit of a windy, twisty area. Like an example's right here. Boom, I see it's a little bit of a chicane, so I cross the yellow there to save myself a little bit of, of twisty, if that makes sense. I basically, I just cut the turn. I just go straight through it instead of actually turning. So like right here is another example. Right there, I just cut the yellow line. And I don't understand why people do this. One, it's just so unsafe. Like if you're going through a blind turn and you're cutting those corners, you're just putting yourself at risk for an accident and anyone else that's coming for an accident. Or like right here, this is gonna be a perfect example because you can kind of see ahead enough they can kind of cut the corner a little bit again i see it all the time and i don't understand why people do it like i'll hug the median divider especially on like a rainy day i'll veer more towards the middle of the road than i do towards the edge just for obvious reason of if i do brake traction i'd rather have some road than a barrier but for normal day-to-day -day driving like i see it all the time and it's just infuriating like right here too, it's a nice straight. If I cut right here, sure, I have a bit more of a straightaway to accelerate without being in a turn, but I don't understand why. Like most of us that are driving enthusiasts, that are driving on normal roads like this, maybe going out for a nice spirited drive, we wanna enjoy the, the, the twisty turns. We're not going for lap times, we're not even going for any kind of a timed, performance based run we're just enjoying the road because if you look at it from the perspective of being a driving enthusiast and you want to enjoy your car in the turns you want to you want to enjoy your your handling like the m2 has phenomenal handling this car handles really well it takes corners beautifully like right now it's gripping gripping really nicely if you want to enjoy that, then enjoy that. Enjoy having to weave your car in between the white and yellow lines. Enjoy having to place the car perfectly so that you stay in the lines and enjoy all the handling, you know? If you're just cutting corners, you're not enjoying the full benefit of those windy, twisty roads. As car enthusiasts, we often complain, oh, there's no roads, there's no roads, I can't drive my car anywhere, it's all straight roads. But then when you get to the twisty roads that allow you to enjoy your car, you take the shortcuts to make it a straight road anyway. You see it all the time where people just cut those turns. And one of the things you notice too is it's on really tight roads where like half the turns are so blind where if you do come across someone cutting a lane as you're going into the turn on the other side, there is a good chance that you either have to swerve or you're gonna be in an accident. Like there's a famous road in America here, it's called the Tale of the Dragon. I've never been, it's on my list of roads to go to and places to visit, but it's a road that is very twisty and windy. That's what the road is known for and car enthusiasts and bike enthusiasts go there all the time, basically pushing their cars and ripping it for the purpose of enjoying their car through the turns. But then what do you always see in those videos of people doing that? They're cutting those yellows and they're going into the oncoming lane. And that's like a big unspoken rule or not even unspoken. That's just like a big rule. Like do not cross the yellows because people are focused on, you know, their own drive and their own lane. And now you, they have to worry about not crashing into you because you can't stay in your lane and you're driving sloppy. And then to touch on the point of driving sloppy, it does make you look sloppy when you're cutting yellows. It just shows that you don't know how to stay in your own lane. I think it makes you a better driver if you stay inside your lanes too. Because if you're really pushing your car, really going for a nice spirited drive, 
through these windy roads, you're whipping it like 40, 45, whatever you're doing. And if you're staying like perfectly in your lanes, holding traction, like you're doing everything perfectly, then you're probably a better driver than the one going 50 who's using the whole two lanes, one of which he shouldn't be using at all. So I don't know, I think it makes you a better driver if you just stay in your lane. We gotta stop driving in the oncoming lane. We gotta stop crossing the yellows. We gotta stop crossing it, guys. It's unsafe. It just makes you look sloppy. It makes you really a worse driver. Just stay in your lane, guys. And if you see one of your car buddies doing this and cutting these turns like I just did right there, if you see one of your car buddies doing that, tell them to stop. Tell them to stay in their lane because it'll make them a better driver. They'll be safer. They won't wreck you along with their car and everyone else on the road. And everyone will just have a better time. If you agree with me, leave me a like. Leave me a comment telling me your thoughts on crossing the lines here. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. But that's going to be all for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there.